Okay, hello and welcome back to some more F1 2021, my team. Today you join me for my favourite race on the calendar in Baku. And just to add to how much I love it, we've got a new engine part that's come in. So we are topping the charts when it comes to performance. So, oh, I'm looking forward to this one if I can tell you anything. I am looking forward to this one. Going into qualifying then, hopefully we can get like a P8 or below. That would be great. Getting into the car, going through the final sector now then. Heading towards the quick left right of turn 18 and 19. Questionably, one of the most dangerous corners of the F1 calendar. Because if you mess it up, you hit a wall at 300 km an hour. People don't think about that. There's no runoff. There's a wall. P3! Oh, ho, ho, yes! A warm welcome to all of you watching at home to today's Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And a race that in its short history has already proven no stranger to drama. A fourth row start is just about as likely to give you a podium as a pole position would. And remember, in 2017 and 2018, both Lance Stroll and then Sergio Perez took surprise podiums here. The Baku City Circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds around the narrow city, through the old town, and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. It's just about time to go to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Anthony Davidson, what types of strategy do you think we can expect for today's event? Well, there's a lot that both the driver and the team have to keep in mind when going into a race. The tyres, fuel, energy recovery systems, the list goes on and on. But I think the key to today's victory will come down to the pit stop strategy. Come in too soon and you might find yourself needing more than one stop. Too late and you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by spending longer on worn tyres. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position. A very happy Carlos Sainz will start second. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Reed, Stroll, Lando Norris and Perez, Sonoda, Russell, Gasly and Lewis Hamilton, Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi, Charles Leclerc and Matsushita. Joe, Raikkonen, Nicholas Latifi, and Jack Aitken. Schwartzman, Tigtum, Ocon, and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. P3 then, starting on the second row. Very nice. Oh yes. Don't have to do too much overtaking to get a to get a lead. Just two people ahead of us now. Sites. Is it Sites? I think so. And Verstappen. Softer medium as always. Pitting lap four. Let's get into it. To five red lights here in Azerbaijan. We are underway for the Grand Prix. Sites ahead of us. Pulls to the right. Stroll has a cheeky look down the left, but he can't make it pass. We keep it wide. And on the exit of turn one, we're right alongside Sainz into turn two. Alongside still, he taps the wall, I think. Goes a little bit loosey-goosey. And we go past on the ERS. Down towards turn three. What would be a DRS zone if DRS was enabled. He's going to keep it close, but he's not going to be able to get it past. Verstappen, 1.7 seconds ahead. Sites 0.6 behind. At the end of lap one, Verstappen setting a fastest the time, obviously. Mediums. Still 1.7 seconds behind. Haven't had much time to make up any time. But now it is on. We are getting ready to push, push, push to try and close that gap before we pit. And it is working. It's on 1.2 gap now with a purple sector one and a green sector two. Just one straight in between a fastest lap now. ERS deployed. 
to its max. No pun intended there. Anyways, we're going to go across the line to take that fastest slap away fastest from the Verstappen. So a new is DRS enabled. Jeff mumbling down my ear again. I don't want to hear it, lads. Anyways, towards turn seven, just before the castle section of the track, one of the trickiest sections on the calendar. But we are good, we make it through, we don't. I am stupid it. And we are behind Verstappen now. Purple sector one, Verstappen 0.7 behind, sorry, ahead. We will have DRS if we can keep this pace up. But he is slowly pulling away. So far, so good though. Going down towards turn 16 to start off the final sector of the race. It's a red sector too, but we're keeping with it. We have a little bit of ERS to use just if we need it to get a little bit closer. We're going to use a little bit of it now just to close that gap down. So we definitely do get DRS. We have DRS on the detection. It's going to be enabled now then. We won't be able to catch him and overtake, but we can get close. We're coming in this lap. Okay, pit in this lap then. Still behind Verstappen, but a lot closer now. 0.4 seconds. DRS again towards turn three. So we have another opportunity to get close. And he's he's got an insane launch. What the hell? But we are closing it to a 0.2 second gap. Very, very close indeed. End of lap four through the perilous 18 and 19 section. We will be pitting this lap. Whether Verstappen comes in with us or not, that is up to him. But we are definitely pissing because these tyres are starting to fall off insanely quickly. He is going to pit in. We're going to take a much better line and go right along him into the entrance. He goes in for his stop. It's a, it's a slow one. I can tell you that. If we can get a good stop, we might actually overtake him here. 2.1. We're ahead of Verstappen out of the pits. No way. Wow. Wowee, wowee. Okay. Aiken ahead of us now. We're just into traffic. At this point, I just want to put a couple of cars in between me and Verstappen. So that we can have a bit of a relaxed race. If we can keep the cars... If we, if we can keep like at least a one-car gap between us and Verstappen, life is good. DRS on Aitken now, but we're already pretty much past him. He's not going to pull into the pits. Schumacher has, Raikkonen has, many people have. Behind Schwarzman now, our newest Formula 1 race winner. Will he be able to win this race? I don't think so, because he's only in P6, and he hasn't pitted yet. And there's not Monaco level of uh, everything. But anyways, we get past around the outside very nicely. Into the castle section. Purple sector one right behind Joe Guan Yu. Into turn 12. We have a look down the inside. We get past. He backs out. And we are up into P5. Even though we're technically P1 anyways. So it doesn't really matter. But I'm still going to say that. Because it makes it seem entertaining. Anyways. Hamilton in the pits. Sight in the pits. Moves us up. So a P3, a podium position. Lap 8 towards turn 3. We're behind Mashashita in the Aston. He's going to have DRS on Giovinazzi, but we're going to have DRS on him looking around the outside of turn 3. And we make it past very cleanly. So no one can complain about that. However, into the castle section. We're going to be right alongside Giovinazzi, taking the overtake into the castle. And we've managed to get up into P1, leaving a huge gap nice now. Move. Good job. between us and Verstappen the end of lap 8 I can't even see Verstappen there's no Verstappen on my timings DRS is stuck shut but that doesn't matter no one's ahead of us for us to use DRS so luckily We're leading our team we are a-okay lap 10 on to 11 still ahead we uh, okay now I can see this happen. Verstappen's 2.2 seconds ahead behind. God damn it. Okay, that's not good for them, but hey ho. Anyways, lap 12 to start the final lap with Verstappen 1.7 seconds behind us. Can we keep the lead 
for a while though. Got more two laps of fuel left. I don't care about the laps of fuel left, Jeff. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. That's what I'm looking for, baby. Okay, let's do this thing. Foot to the floor. Heading down towards turn 16 to start off the final sector 3 of the race. Going wide out the exit. No warning or anything. Rather surprising. Uh, but yeah, through 18 and 19, very clearly through 20, the final corner has been taken. Verstappen way too far back now to get anything. I can slam my brakes on and still win as we go across the line to take P1 here in Azerbaijan. Wow, yes. Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserve that race win. The championship is going amazingly right now. That's three wins in the second place. I think all with fastest lap. Oh, They're going to set the game up, I can tell you that. Yes, another incredible Grand Prix weekend. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I really feel the track layout combined with the track temperatures we saw today suited their car. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature, and the driver did a great job managing that as well. They just look so comfortable out there. It's like anything, it always looks so easy when it all just clicks. A show-stopping performance from the three drivers approaching the podium right now. It's been an interesting Grand Prix, that's for sure. There you have it. P1 for us, Verstappen. P2, Stroll P3, Perez P4, and Schumacher to round off the top five, getting them extra 10 points for the team. Okay, looking at the standings then, we have a 43-point lead on Verstappen already after four races. Things are looking up. They need to get some upgrades going ASAP. But anyways, thank you for watching this one. Uh, I hope this isn't getting too boring. The AI are fine. They don't need to be turned up. You can shove that one. They're completely fine. They're quite high. Uh, 101. I, I've literally turned it up to 102 before. And I was struggling from 101. Turned it up a, a, a singular digit. And I couldn't do it. So, leave me alone, alright, man? Leave it. Anyways, I hope to see you next time for the Canadian Grand Prix, which will be coming out on... Saturday when I get home. Yeah. Sick one.